Welcome back to It's Succulent Time! So today we were gonna have, uh, I think this is my biggest succulent haul. So I will gonna show you all of the succulents I got from a different big box store like Walmart, Lowe's, and Home Depot. Home Depot and also in the 99 cent store. So I will gonna show you first. The first thing I got from the 99 cent store. So, this is an Echeveria variety. So, yeah, they didn't put an ID on this one, but this is like um, Echeveria Big Red. Um, usually have a red edges. It is red, but this one, as you can see, this is pink edges. Big Red is also almost the same texture. And it also has a curly leaves like this. This is $2.99. But I think it's still cheap compared to other big box stores. So that is where I got this. Chiberia. And the next one we have here is the... It is kind of um, ice plant. It's called Oscularia del Deltoides, Ascolaria deltoides. I will put the name below. And it says that it's low growing succulent, shrublet from the SW Cape of South Africa. Lovely lilac flowers and purple. Pink stems with silvery blue leaves used in rock garden hanging containers or as ground covers. Needs porous soil with good drainage, water thoroughly when the soil is dry. So I think this one, I really love this one. So when I saw it, really grab it. Because I am really dreaming of having this type of uh, ice plant. Because I saw in some YouTube videos, I saw one of these and the flowers are really beautiful. So I'm so excited to, to get this one. This is from Walmart. So I actually got I think three succulents from Walmart. This one, this one, the Echeveria. This is Echeveria. It also didn't say what type of Echeveria it is. It is just say Echeveria hybrid and this Kalankoe. Okay, let's go first with the next one for the Echeveria hybrid so this thing I actually doesn't know what its name I thought it's Echeveria fire glow but I'm not sure it's waiting for repots growing so bigger right now so it needs to be repot soon and it has a baby one on it which is good so I can I can um, advise you guys that if you are gonna buy some succulents um, it's it will be better if you will buy succulents with babies already because you can have not only one but two succulents in one price so that's a good tip guys okay so this Echeveria hybrid um, this is a drought tolerant when established needs well draining soil water thoroughly when soil is dry to the touch protect from frost to prevent possible scarring looks best with regular watering in hotter months so there it goes Echeveria hybrid I really love the pink edges of this one this is not red this is pink I really love it can wait to repeat this succulents. Okay, the next one I got is the Kalankowi. So actually, this one is on sale, and it is priced for a dollar ninety nine. But the regular price is three ninety seven. So this is a different kind of Kalankowi. The flowers is really beautiful. And I think it just need 
little TLC to get it back to its normal beautiful look Let's keep it here on my patio backyard patio so I can wait to repot this one okay guys so the next batch is from Home Depot so I got three kind of succulents here so the first one this is Echeveria Pearl Born Nunberg I really like it I already have I don't know two types of I don't think it's the same because the things I have here has a yellow edges here it's not like as green and purple like this it doesn't really look healthy right now but I think we can make it always work right okay it just need some TLC so this one it says it's excellent for windowsill culture or as color accent in rock garden or dish garden porous soil with adequate drainage perfect from frost provide bright light hardy to 36 degree Fahrenheit and it grows up to 5 inches so it really grows bigger water to relieve when soil is dry okay so that is the Echeveria Bon Echeveria Pearl Bon Marn PVN is what they call it for sure Okay. okay the next one here is they said it's a ladyfinger but its real name is cotyledon white sprite oops falls down it's okay you can just stick it in there and i think it will grow it will give some it will it will have some root roots okay so this is cotyledon white sprite this is a drought tolerant when established, needs well draining soil, water thoroughly when soil is dry to the touch, protect from the frost to prevent possible scarring, looks best with regular watering in hotter months. So this is Cotyledon White Sprite, or they call it Ladyfinger. I think I've seen this one using by Laura Eubanks, Laura Eubanks Smith. Me idol. When I started collecting succulents, I I watch all her videos to learn more about succulents and very important tips on how to grow succulents. I I really learned so much on her about succulents. Okay. So this one is it that it doesn't say what kind of semper vivum this is but this is a kind of semper vivum so if you guys know please comment down below what kind of semper vivum this one and it is hands and chicks assorted semper vivum so this is same tips of in growing drought tolerant when established it needs well draining soil water thoroughly when soil is dry to the touch prefers some shade during the summer dormancy very cold hardy these were planted on rooftops in europe to protect from many evils hmm. that's new okay so this is so widely used in europe what it says so this is semper vivum. I love semper vivums because they they gave up so many babies. So in future time you will gonna have many 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 semper vivums if they will gonna survive. Okay, can wait to repot that. So the last batch it is from Lowe's. So I am so excited when I saw this because this is very new to me this this two okay so first you are gonna go first for this graptopetalum bellum look how pretty the graptopetalum bellum is i really like that it's um green dark green with white edges it is so pretty and aside from that it also have two babies sticking out from their mama so I can't wait to transplant this one and have a bunch of them in the future 
it looks so pretty look how pretty it is this is the first time I saw this one and I'm, I'm like oh wow this is really pretty and the leaves the shape of the leaves is really nice it's so unique it's so elegant and beautiful in any arrangement I guess so this is native to Chihuahua Mexico forms miniature rosettes of sets to form clusters scarlet flowers in spring very porous soil tolerate some frost protect to prevent possible scarring provide bright light hardy to 32 degree fahrenheit and it grows up to three inches water totally when the soil is dry so there it goes we'll see The next one that is also very new to me, this is the first time I saw it and it is so beautiful and chunky like um, moonstone but I think this is very beautiful. This is called Graptoveria amethorum. Graptoveria amethorum. This is how I call it. And it is so cute. It's pinkish when it's um i think when it's um stressed it's pinkish and it has that design on the lips this coloration of green and then there is pink and there is white it is so beautiful like a jelly bean as in the the bean candy the jelly bean candy it's look like a jelly bean candy it is so pretty. This is the first time I got it and I'm so excited when I saw it. It's so pretty. And it says here that it's Graptoveria amethorum is a hybrid between Graptopetalum armistinum and Echeveria purposarum. Oh, that's why it looks like Echeveria purposarum. Because I have Echeveria purposarum here. Yeah, the edges looks like the same. Okay. It forms rosettes that blush to violet in bright light. Excellent for shadier areas in rock gardens and window sills. Porous soil. It protects protect it from frost. Provide a bright light. Hardy to 36 degree Fahrenheit up and it grows up to 4 inches. Water thoroughly when the soil is dry. Okay, this, this looks so pretty. So beautiful. This is my new favorite. Okay. Okay, next is this mimicry plant. They call it Pleos Pilos Nelly Royal Flush. So <laughs> This is the third time that I bought this kind of Mimi Creep plant. I don't know what's what's wrong with me, but it keeps on dying. So this will be my third time. I hope that she will grow. I think um, I have here a nice spot that I can put it on. And I currently I have two kinds of Mimi, Mimi Creep plant. I have two Litox and until now they're doing great so we'll see if it will also grow into the path that i got and i will show you the pot so this is the pot that um, i'm keeping my lithops and i think they love it because it has some holes on it that it gives you know airflow on this pot gets into the inside of the planter and they're looking good they're growing so i have two of this kind of pot and i think that is where i'm gonna put this all of this litops and the micro plant so i also hope that they fly and grow like them okay so this is a, a rare cultivar of Plesopilos nelli or split rock. Royal Flush has a deep rose flower with a white center. 
porous soil and protect from frost provide bright light or sun and it's hardy up to 32 degree Fahrenheit and it grows up to 2 inch tall water thoroughly when the soil is dry so I hope it grows and the last one is type of litops so this is also mimicry plant and they call it stone faces stone faces or litops Litops are camouflaged by its surroundings, somewhat cold tolerant, protect from frost to prevent scarring, provide bright light, hardy to 33 degree Fahrenheit, and it grows up to 2 inch tall. Leaves are dry husk. Water new leaves only when old, when old leaves are dry husk. Otherwise, water well when soil is dry. So there it is, the litops or stone faces okay okay guys so I can't wait to plant all of these succulents and I'll see you again on my next video thank you for watching bye